them. Score to eight, 160k today. All the way up and down into Manchester. I feel awful. I feel so bad. Didn't really sleep very well. Just way too much caffeine and uh, the knee is sore couldn't stand up from the sofa which is a bad sign so we'll see how it is when it warms up both the knees are not happy this morning every time it kind of gets steep i'm just wanting to walk to be honest and i've got this massive climb first thing Leg warmers off, sun cream on. Because the painkiller is doing such a wonderful job, I'm not sure I need my foam roller as much anymore. So I'm gonna drink it. After that horrible climb in the morning, it's basically descending till about 50k in, which is nice, and the final 30k is flat. However, between 50k and 130k is quite hilly, so we'll see how that goes. How are you getting on? Yeah, yeah. Having a nice time. It's really hot. It's so fucking hot. And I've ran out of sun cream, so I've kept my jacket on. I've got sun if you want some. I'm gonna cut the bottle open. Yeah. And hopefully get a bit out of that. Caught up with Harriet, which is nice. She had a mare last night, or this morning even. She stayed with us at the youth hostel, wanting to set out a little bit earlier than us. Five o'clock, managed to lock herself out and was uh, basically locked outside for an hour and a half until we woke up. So, sorry about that. That was probably end up pushing on faster a little bit. I think this is the steepest, like this is the worst bit of the climbing. Like once we're up over this, it's pretty rolling, I think. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, they are cute. They're scary. They are bigger, yeah. Off the big mountain pass, tarmac again, tarmac roads. Should be fairly rolling for a little bit. It's those big passes that really do me in where you're just like, there's no one around, you're completely exposed. And you're just plucking away at like meter by meter, you know, like you've got 2.4K to the next point and that just takes you half an hour, like, Hopefully that's all of them, but I'm not so sure. I've not really said much to the camera, to be honest. I've just been suffering. This day just feels like it's gonna go on forever and ever and ever. I think I'm about halfway and, oh, I need it to be over, to be honest. I've got 76K left. There's still 50K. Well, the climbing's over. I stopped in Gisburn back there thinking I could just stop for some lunch or something and uh, places. There's nothing there, so I'm off to Calm now up this horrible gravel climb. Try to get some savoury food in me, get more caffeine and hopefully that helps.
Oh. This is awful. This is really bad. station in Cone. So I got about 40 k's worth of whoa. 40 k's worth of climbing. And then we can coast all the way in. It's so hot. Looking at the route on Camus, I've got just over four hours left. A thousand meters of climbing. I've got a while to go, yeah. Three o'clock now, so maybe getting about half seven. Plenty of time for it all to go wrong. It's like the worst thing ever and then you see a lake and you're as happy as Larry. It's all over the place, I can't keep up. I'm so tired, it's just delirious at this point. Where about Theo? Is he ready? No, 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 he's way back. His knee is giving him some serious oh, grief, really? so yeah. Oh, Yesterday was really hard. I think day four was really challenging, but feeling much better today, yeah. weirdly. I mean, it's because it's the last day. So. Yeah, like a second win. I'm realizing just how much of a long way it is, even <laughs> if you're doing it in five days. I know. When there's an option to do it in three days, you're like, oh, so the five days must be fine. Yeah. And then I'm like, no, this is really far. Like, really, really far. And it's just the, up, the uphill on the, on the yeah. Gravel, so yeah. Right. It was yesterday, that last stretch. Some of the technical descending. Good content. <laughs> Picking up Carrie. Your hub's gone. Free hub. Yeah. Not a free hub anymore. Not doing the next 60k on a single speed, I don't think. <laughs> String of punches today, back wheel always going down. Every few minutes I have to stop and pump it up. My pump snapped in half, managed to kind of get that back together. Oh God. Was going along okay and then it was just kept going down and it was no particular reason for it. I have a shoot tube and then the tube valve was too short. Rookie error. Ivan was on the interception ride to meet all the people. Bless him and he was like a white knight on top of the mountain. It had a valve extender so we managed to get some air on it so we're massively behind now i've lost hours as the wheels come off as they say station in i worked they said you could have my caravan i'll sleep on the couch absolutely awesome man i owe that guy a solid so it just shows doesn't it how many people come out 
and help when you're when you're desperate like me. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long couple of days to be honest. Ah, oh, mate, yeah, I'll show you a picture later. The caravan are fading. <laughs> yeah, I was best night's sleep I've had all bloody week. Just found a cleat bolt. You never know. <laughs> I lost one already. What's going on? My knee's gone. Yeah. My knee's fucked. It's been hurting all day and it's just got really, really bad. Painkillers don't seem to be doing anything and I can't even ride on the road, which was fine. The part of me was like, if I've already done like damage to it, I might as well finish. But I just, I can't, like, I can't get up this. It's kind of arbitrary, you know, whether you finish or not, but like, You've done an absolutely massive ride, which you should be really proud of. Just because you've not got to where they've marked the very end of it, like doesn't doesn't mean anything. Oh, man. I've done what 110k, something like that. Like 50k left. It's half five. So, yeah, that's the end. I think, I think that's the end of it. Yeah, I'm gonna scratch here and probably not go any further, I just can't. What do you want me to take? Really it's really it's far. It's really, really far. So it's also not 200, just 200k off road. It's 200k off road with like two and a half thousand meters of climbing. Yes. Like it's that's really far. It is. And um, some of it is walking. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of it's walking. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> what I've learned and like well everyone's like there's no slack. So if something fucks up like here. It impacts all the way down the line, so you have to put the extra work in. And if you've got something wrong, that's that's so I got things wrong. Yeah, I should have gone first, further on the first day. You should have gone further on the first day. Way further. I was, I was like finishing at six day, like lovely, easy, easy lovely, dreamy, yeah. and then like slept for like four hours and woke up feeling like ass and was like shit. Better do two hundred k. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but all the, all the way through here. But I also, I just didn't know how long I was going to take. Yeah. And I was like, Kamui said 12 hours. I'll trust that. And it was like, way wrong. From what I saw, your your pacing was off, but it wasn't going to be an issue other than to get here really late. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. Hey, I mean, I think it's the thing. It's like, I put the three days there as almost bait. Which is like, <laughs> you know, it's bait for people who are like, five days, whatever, I can do that yeah. faster. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, and I was... I'm like, okay, cool. And then I just watch. Yeah, <laughs> watch it's all about. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh, you're fast, are you? Cool. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. <laughs> I fell for it. You are fast. You are strong. You can't really like. I know. That's it's so, predict it's an injury. So different. It's a very different game. It's. I was like, oh, I'm fit. Cool. I like going really well, like probably the fittest I've been, yeah, at least for a number of years, if not ever. And I was like, dreamy, I'm so yeah, easy. And then it was like, oh, like it doesn't fucking matter. Like, yeah, I'm fit, but I'm sitting on a bike for longer than I spend in the office each day. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not used to this. Get up and do it again tomorrow and the day after. Yeah, that's the problem, is it's like yeah. it's slightly different between like being, because you can be really fit and really quick. But it's like consistency is the thing that yeah. like ends up being the, the like the telling point, you know? Yeah, and not when you start to slow down, not having a fucking breakdown. <laughs> yes, exactly. When you start to slow down, not being like everything's ruined. Like, yeah. Bad. <laughs> like, Walk, walking up to the top, like in a headwind and being like, I want to cry. <laughs> yeah. Although that is part of it. Yeah. That yeah. is part of it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people cry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then later they're like, oh. Yeah. Love oh, every we're, okay. we're okay, I've had a brilliant time. And you're yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. watched you ball <laughs> like, like yesterday. And they're like, yeah, but it was just for a bit and I needed it and like, it's like a yeah, there was, there was moments where I was like, I can't do this. And then I saw a lake and I was like, oh, this is amazing. I think, yeah, your brain gets a bit poorer. Yeah, yeah. You know, like things, things get beautiful very yeah, quickly very, and very ugly very quickly yeah that's the other thing i think we're doing it this quickly is that like any like if you do have any like proclivities that show up 
because you don't get to rest yourself. Are you happy you did it? Even a little bit? Like deep down? Give it a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give yeah, it, give yeah, it a couple yeah. of days. I don't deep, expect an answer. Deep out. down, yes. Yeah. 100% I'm sure, right now, absolutely not, <laughs> fucking miserable. That's good, that makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Sunday now, it's the day after. Failed probably seems like the most appropriate word right now. My failed attempt at the Pennine Rally Express version. I ended up pulling out 50K from the finish, having done 460K having done 460k of the route. Based on how well the painkillers were working, I thought I thought day three would have been fine. Was doing okay, kind of was plodding along. The knee wasn't too bad, but it was definitely affecting my morale. Um, it's really hard to continue to push on through, through something that's hurting that much. I couldn't get out of the saddle, couldn't ride as freely as I wanted to. I couldn't really, I just felt really limited and a bit stuck and that was a bit hard on a lot of the steep off-road stuff. 50k to go, two final climbs, it just, it changed. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a dull pain anymore, it was really sharp. And it was kind of like at that point that I was like, okay, this is probably turning into something a bit more serious. And if I really push on through this, then am I gonna do myself some la lasting harm? Am I gonna actually end up causing quite a big injury? So I figured it was probably best to to stop riding, which is why I say it's failed. However, it might not have been. It's what I wanted to do. It was a really good intro to it. It was a really good way to see if it's something that I like doing. It was an amazing event and I did, what, 90% 90, 90 of it. I did all the good bits. I did all the nice bits in the middle. There was just two climbs left, which I didn't actually get to see, but by the sounds of everyone walking up and down them, maybe I didn't actually miss out on anything. I rode for 491 kilometers, although some of that was off the route. So some of that was to and from an accommodation. I did 1000 TSS, which is fun. And I climbed 9,000 meters. I did 16,700 calories. So it's been a big, big few days, actually. Looking at that, it was still a pretty, pretty immense challenge. And I might not have got to the finish line, but for the first time ever doing anything of this nature, a multi-day trip, it's not too bad, right? Maybe we should, me and Honor will go back and do the five day, maybe next time. We'll see. We'll see if I recover in time. Highlight of the whole trip, the descent off uh, Cam High Road. That was honestly one of the greatest things I've ever done. It's like loose, winding gravel, um, which on a bike that weighs 20 kilos is amazing because you absolutely fly down all the descents. Overall, just like the, 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 the descending is amazing. That's what I love the most. Maybe it's coming, living in London, we don't get to do much of it, but that was definitely a standout highlight. Coming down, seeing the like, I don't know if it's a viaduct or an aqueduct, seeing that flowing down fairly early in the morning for me, start to get sunny. That was the start of day three, so that's when I was still feeling okay. That was a highlight for sure. It's an incredible event. I'd 100% recommend anybody else who's thinking about it to go on and do it. It's a beautiful route. It's a really, really big challenge. You meet some great people, you see some great places, and all in all, yeah, it was wonderful. Thank you very much for having us along, Rafa. Thank you very much to Honor for coming along and documenting the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you enjoyed filming it, Honor. Thank you to my dad as well for facilitating everything and driving driving Honor around to get some, some shots. If you have any questions on the route, if you have any questions on the ride, if you have any questions at all, let us know. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.